What's up guys, but our true good development in this video, I'm going to show you my technique to get a pro grade finish on kitchen cabinets. I've done a lot of kitchens, a lot of cabinets, and I feel like every time I do it, I'm learning something new. And I don't want to say I've perfected it, but I think I'm pretty close to it. And I want to share with you how I get those results. Here's what you can expect. Guys, this is a finished cabinet face. And you can see the finish on this. It's glass-like finish that you get when you buy high-grade cabinets. But I'm gonna show you how to get this from unfinished cabinets that you get from Home Depot or Lowe's. All right, guys, first let me go over what you're gonna need. So for this project, I'm starting off with a sanding sealer. I got my cup hooks, a uh, drill, driver, a steel wool uh, block, and an extra fine sanding block. You also need an assembly, uh, kind of something like this. So what I do is I take those cup hooks and I screw them onto the doors. I would screw them on the top if I have wall cabinets and at the bottom on the base cabinets so that way you never see them. You can always refinish this if you like as well. And I show this in more detail in another video where I finish another kitchen and I'll put the link up uh, here as well if you wanna check that out. Also, I am using my critter sprayer. I also have a video detailing uh, this tool and I'll put the link up on here as well and also in the description. But this is my go-to for these kinds of projects, uh, more detailed spraying and whatnot. I always like the sprayer to do these kinds of jobs, especially when you have detailed finish like this. So these are unfinished cabinets. So I would like to use a sanding sealer before my finish coat. That way it fills up any porous holes in the wood and it gives it a shinier finish before you go and apply your paint or your stain to give it more of a factory-like finish. So here I started using my sanding sealer and I'm spraying it using my critter. I have my PSI set to just under 30 PSI. That gives me a nice even coating. I'm doing the faces of the doors and next I will be doing the base cabinets. So make sure you take your time on this and get through every nook and cranny of the wood. Guys, once the sanding sealer is dry, you will feel that the wood is a little bit rougher now and that's because the fibers of the wood are expanding from the, uh, from the spraying. So you go ahead and take your pad, your steel wool pad, clean that up a little bit, make sure there's nothing sticking on it. And then you just gently smooth out the surface and you'll see that it's a lot smoother. If you come across a surface that doesn't get as smooth as you like with the pad, switch that to your extra fine block or your 220 grit or anything that is even finer and you just want to do one or two quick passes and then it will be super smooth you don't want to go too much on this because um, then you don't want to pick up all that sealer from the surface and next up is uh, the fun stuff we're going to spray some paint on these things and you'll finally see things happen here we go Set the pressure right, test it.
Okay, guys, so this is the cabinet after, or the cabinet door after two coats of paint, okay? And I have not sanded yet, and I wanna try to get a real close up here. You could see how smooth this is, okay? I mean, honestly, to the touch, it's so smooth. I have not uh, sanded this yet, or I have not hit it with the pad. I also want to point out too that before I started the or before starting the base cabinet, I went ahead and sprayed another coat of the sealer, the sanding sealer. And look at this. You could see the sheen on this. I have not sanded this yet. So it's all about prep work as far as as painting these cabinets in my opinion so the doors I only had one coat of the sealer on and they still turned out uh, smooth however I wanted to have more of a, a smoother or a shinier surf surface before I go and and paint or spray my paint I think that will make it even that will make for an even nicer finish Today I am uh, sanding the uh, cabinet doors, prepping them for the third coat of paint. So this has two coats of paint on it. Uh, what I'm using for this again is my pad, my extra fine block, and a piece of cloth or rag or whatever to clean things up. See if I can get sort of a close up here. This is super smooth. And then once I do my third coat and then my polycrylic, this thing is gonna look like glass. Flip it over, do the same thing on the back side. The back side is always gonna be rougher. This quarter inch insert that they use for these doors usually comes with a uh, finished face and a sort of a, a sub finished or a rougher uh, backing and that's what they use in the back so this is really hard but nothing a 220 or an extra fine uh, grit sandpaper would not smooth out before applying my third coat of paint i decided to go ahead and fill some areas as you can see here with wood filler so for example i have this uh, trim piece which i'm going to need and I have this imperfection on it right there. So for this, I'm using this wood filler. And just kind of going through, there's definitely a lot of imperfections here, but can really go and fill the whole thing just do the big ones so I went around and did this for all the cabinet faces and in the backs a little bit you can see that right there and then once this dries this might need another fill once this dries I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the 220 again and do the final and third coat so stick around once your wood filler dries, I could see it dried here, not so much here. This was almost like a rebuild of that corner, so that's going to take maybe two or three passes. So I'm not worried about this one. Once it dries, take your 220 pad and just kind of lightly go over it. This is still a little bit raised here, so just feel it out and then hit it as needed until it feels really smooth to the touch. All right, guys, just finished my third and final coat of paint. Now, I'm gearing up to put this guy on. 
let me move to better lighting right here this is my go-to finish guys this i use this in satin uh clear satin you can get this in i think semi-gloss or gloss gloss finish excuse me but anyways this will give the cabinets the protective finish you have to do this do not skip this part otherwise you can scratch the paint off of the cabinets i loaded up my poly in here because this is much thinner than paint i want to go to maybe 20 psi you know i'm gonna go to 30. there you go and see what that gets us All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish all these cabinets and we'll take a look at the final result. Don't forget to wear your mask. All right, guys, here's the ultimate test. This cabinet face is completely finished. I did two coats of polycrylic finish on it. Uh, remember, I did this in satin. Now, I took this inside. This is a professionally finished cabinet and it's, a, um, it's not a cheap one. I would say it's... Uh, above average. So I'm gonna do a close up as, as good as I can so you can see how close these two look. Here we go. So this is what we just did. This is the other one. You can hardly see a difference and this is them from a distance of about 12 inches right here. But there you go, guys. I hope you liked the video. I hope it helps you with your project. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. That's the only way to support it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.